tell me a little bit about virtual selling. What are we talking about today? And who do you think should be paying attention? I think anybody selling should be paying attention. Um, you know, when we have last year, 2020, everything went virtual and not everybody was ready for it. However, today, virtual selling is no longer an alternative option because it's actually what our buyers want. So I think McKinsey uh, did a study that 70 to 80% of buyers want virtual selling to stay. So although a lot of people adapted last year, we're seeing that, hey, even though we're opening back up and we're going face to face, we're going to continue to meet buyers where they are and meet them with what they want, which is virtual. What is one attitude you'd like people to have? Have conviction. Have conviction that when you are presenting or setting up an appointment, do not take a phone call as an option have conviction that this is my process, this is what I do, I'm going to set up a virtual meeting because that's what I do and that's what works. And when we believe that and have the conviction around that, you do not get pushback, you will never get pushback. And one key behavior or action item you would like people to do? When it comes to virtual selling, be real, be authentic, be you. You don't have to be perfect uh, because of course, every time we fail, there's a lesson learned but be relentless when it comes to your behaviors. Do what works and turn your actions into habits. And the best technique, tool, or hack to use? Well, technique, uh, well, I would say hack, I use you know, visuals when it comes to virtual selling. Don't use too many of them because you're gonna lose the attention span of, of the person in front of you. Um, but also make sure that you're having those upfront agreements and mutual agreements between you and your prospect. Never leave a meeting without a clear future next step. Thank you for watching this highlight video from the How to Succeed podcast. You can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify, or click subscribe right here in YouTube to get notices about future episodes. And remember, whatever you are, be a good one.